this is just a quick video on how to get started with my hub uh, so I'll presume that you have already signed up to my hub that you've downloaded data link onto your mobile device and now we will be ready to get started you'll see this is your dashboard all your different actions and records are all here very simply step one it says upload your session files to start the first file that I upload is my hard profile so we we'll log on to our AIM system we'll go into animal identification and movements into our herd view our herd profile and down the bottom we can see here this is this is where you export from so we select CSV and this downloads the herd profile so now that we've downloaded our herd profile from Ag Food, you'll see that we have it in Excel and we have tag number, gender, date of birth, breed, and a moved in date, and a TB testing date. For our weighing data, I'm going to create what is called a lifetime data. So I will get rid of my moved in date and my TB testing date. This is the file that I call a lifetime data file. So this is all the information on the animal that does not ever change. So I have a VID, which is your visual identification. It's the last five digits of the tag number. Your LID is your life identification. That's your full department tag number. Sex, date of birth, and breed. Now we will select to save this file. I always save onto my desktop. So I'll select save, save as to my desktop, give it a file name. Also, I will select the save as type. This is very important to save it as a CSV comma delimited. This retains all the information that I've saved. Okay, so now we have gone back into my MyHub. Um, what we're gonna do now is upload our lifetime file so step one upload your file I press my record and this gives you four options to upload so you can upload from a file from an Android or an iPhone um, upload from your data link from PC or upload from an XR or an ID 5000 so we're going to upload from a file on our PC on this occasion So this is uploaded, it gives you a status. So upload su summary, one file successfully uploaded. Um, file name, how many invalid rows. If so, if there was a small problem, one row, it's still uploaded, but it'll tell you that there's something wrong. So records uploaded 17 and the status is green. Okay, from here, I can click on my animals. I can now see the information for these animals. So. I have no weights and no weight gains yet as I've just uploaded so this information is now all saved when I click on this I get more information I get my on each individual animal get the sex get the date of birth I can put all these in um, the whole way through and the more information you upload the more information it will show okay so now we'll show with um, with linking your my hub to your data link so now we'll select data link on our mobile device. We'll find the device. Search for our Bluetooth accessory. It may take a moment. Select easy way. Now that it's linked, we can select our sessions. I've got five records in this.
my animal IDs in this occasion. I only use my visual identification, so the last five digits. I've got the date and I've got the weight. I then you can upload this straight to my hub and upload to my hub and we're done. So now you can see that the file that I just uploaded from my phone is already on my my hub in less than a minute. I can assign this to a group or I can create a group of animals. On this occasion I'll just show you that the animal now has a weight. This weight is your baseline weight. So when you tag calves and do birth weights, it's important that you put the that you put the weight in immediately. So that the the average daily weight gain is is calculated accurately from day one. So that was just a quick introduction to my hub. As with any information system, it's only as intelligent as the information that you put in. So the more times that you upload your data, the more accurate lifetime data and average daily weight gains you will get back. So if you have any more questions with any of the true test range or about my hub, don't hesitate to call us here at Odd Engineering and ask for myself, Damien Odd